for that we need to draw a prism I have to go for pentagon sorry hexagon so give number of sides then edge e first point use your fade command and the distance is 15 okay so this is the prism so now we have to connect all these points okay so end point so that we can go for the 3d projection just to connect the all the points now trim off the excess points here double enter trim off excess points yes now just to take a, a small reference line then project the line to the top yes from here the axis length is given as 35 mm so draw 35 mm length line yeah this is the first phase now we have to trim off the middle lines okay so these are the things we have to first draw now we have to measure the dimension so it is 25.98 from here to here 7.5 then 15 and then 7.5 okay now we have to go for the isometric projection yeah from here you can see the isoplanes okay in isoplane go for top then you have to draw the first diagram from here you have to draw a 15 7.5 mm line then a 15 mm line and then a 7.5 mm line then a 7.5 mm line yeah from here we have to draw 25.98 okay similarly 7.5 15 7.5 sorry seven point five then a fifteen then seven point five and we need to connect here so this is the base now we have to elevate it sorry we have to change the isoplane to left so that we can get the bottom portion for the height of 35 so this is the pyramid height 35 35 and again a 35 now select this just to copy this base point and shift it to here now we need to connect the other points okay from here we have to connect it to the 7.5 line then from here to here and then from here to the midpoint okay similarly we need to connect from here to here and from here to the midpoint Okay. and from here to here I have to carefully connect these points okay so yes this is an extra line I have to carefully connect all these points so this is the first diagram yeah here we have to connect one point so from the top
top yes now this is extra line yes so this is the projection of an orthographic projection of a prism for the next view so this is the long side and in the short side view we have to just connect it yes in the short side we have to draw another okay so now again we go for the top plane from the top plane we have to choose one point okay from so yeah we can move here so from here so the length will be 35 from here it should be 7.5 then 15 then 7.5 and similarly from here it should be 7.5 15 and 7.5 okay from here we need to connect it to here okay now this length it should be 25 points so we go for the isoplane left it should be 25.98 similarly we have to draw all these lines 25.98 from here also 25.98 and from here should be 25.98 okay similarly we have to again copy from here to here okay now just delete this extra line that is copied so from here we have to connect the other point so here is the midpoint from here we need to connect here and from here to the midpoint and from here to this point and from here to here so similarly we need to just connect this point from here to midpoint k okay. and from yeah from here to here because other views can be seen so we have to connect from here to here then from here to here and from here to here and from here to here so that's all so if you directly go uh, turn off this you can measure the angle so the angle should be 30 degree in both sides you can measure the angle as 30 degree Yes, similarly from both sides and here bottom also we need to measure the angle have to carefully give the numberings okay so numbering either should be 1 2 or p q r s like that okay so it is here from here to here okay so only thing is you have to give proper numbering so from p q r s t u and similarly 1 2 and 6 here 3 and 5 here and 4 and from the top angle so it should be 10 9 so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 10 so here bottom we can also give the numberings and here p q r s so only here we can see p q r and u can refer this diagram in the manual and similarly so this is the you can color it so that you can view separately or you can take similarly the diagrams okay so thank you students